while joining me live in the studio now, Randy Hamm, our yes. cultural correspondent, and he's brought a friend, Eric Baker. Yes, and we're here on Baby Friday, not pre-Friday, Derek. Not pre-Friday, Derek Sibley. He's yes. calling you out. I'm but calling him out. I'm so excited <laughs> on Baby Friday to talk yes. about the West Texas Jazz Festival. It sounds like an amazing event. It really is. You know, the the big mission of Odessa Arts is to fund other arts programs. Mm -hmm. And the West Texas Jazz Party is the longest running jazz party in the world. And so for us, it's one of our um, crown jewels of the cultural community here. So yeah. I wanted to invite Eric here to talk about it because he's been such an integral part of the jazz party for so long. And so this is a pretty big deal for our area. Um, how cool is it to have an event like this out here in West Texas? Well, it's really great because most people don't think of West Texas when they think of a big mecca for jazz music. Yeah. Um, but it is alive and well and it's going strong and we are so excited to bring 15 musicians from across the country uh, to be here to play music all night on Friday all day Saturday and then Sunday morning as well. So it'll be a great festival of jazz this week. And I love jazz music too so much. So hearing a live performance, being able to go to this, it's such an incredible opportunity for people living out here. Um, what kind of music will be featured? Like what style of jazz? Sure. So we typically focus on what's called the Great American Songbook or the traditional jazz that started about the 1920s and 30s. Okay. Of course, that was the foundational music that splintered off into rock and blues and country and popular music. And so a lot of what we listen to today, regardless of your favorite musical style, is rooted in jazz. Right. Very interesting. And, you know, jazz, Eric has told me this many, many times, jazz is, you know, purely American. It is an American invention. So it's, it's your patriotic duty <laughs> to come to the jazz party. I love that. And so where can people find tickets for this? Is there a cost associated with the event? Yeah, we have tickets for each night. So if you just want to come on Friday or just want to come on Saturday, you can buy a ticket for each night. Okay. Or you can buy what's called a patron pass. And that gets you free access to the entire weekend, which is a really great opportunity. Nice. And so all of that information can be found on our website, wtjs.org. And of course, we'll have information on our Facebook page and our website after the show. But really cool, after a quick commercial break, Eric Baker, you're actually going to be performing. Let's play a little jazz. With another guest. You're going to hear live jazz in our studio this morning. I'm so excited for this. Stay with us here on Fox 24 News AM Live. You won't want to miss that.